My name is Carol Seeley, and I've attended uh, this church since 1970. I'm involved in the music ministry, and I play the keyboard in the orchestra for the classic services. Phil and I got married, actually on Valentine's Day, 1970, and uh, we were looking for a church that had a young marrieds class, and we wanted to get involved with that. So um, 1970, we, we came here to Emmanuel Faith, actually on 7th Street, and we, uh, there was a class that just fit us. It was just perfect. And we got involved and um, got involved in Bible studies and it was just a great fit. And I met Leo Kalak, who was the choir director, and I got involved in the music department. After 27 years, Leo retired. And of course, we formed a committee to choose a new director. I was on that committee, and we, we did interview quite a few, but the Duncans, John and Betty Duncan, had a friend uh, from Vancouver, and they um, thought Jim Thompson would be a perfect fit for us. And he agreed to come, and he really did form the orchestra. Back then, we had cantatas, and uh, they were like, uh, almost like a passion play. They were, they were big and well done and fun to do, but hard. They, uh, lots of work went into those, and Jim was good at putting those on. Tim Mayfield, he came, oh, close to the 90s and stayed through the 2000s. He was here over 20 years. About that time, we were, I think all churches, just church in general, was trying to decide uh, old hymns or new choruses. Kind of an evolving thing that we had to, to work through. And, uh, you know, the rock and roll generation was getting older and uh, put a new spin on some of the, the old uh, hymns and choruses. And actually, it was fun music, and it, it has stuck. And uh, so now, from that, we have uh, a classic service of pretty much older hymns and older choruses, and then we also have a contemporary service. And so I think we've settled in, and those are accepted and really fun music. And now we have another generation coming along, and we have Resonate here at the church, and that is um, the younger generation yet, and their music is just outstanding and just a lot of fun. Music in the worship service actually prepares your heart, I think, for the, the sermon. It uh, prepares our hearts, and it can reach people that um, wouldn't other, otherwise be reached.